For this lesson, we're going to be looking at arithmetic series. So let's start with a little bit of a warm up to recap some of the material we've been already working on. So to start, an auditorium has 20 seats on the first row, 24 seats on the second row, 28 seats on the third row, and so on and so forth. In total, the auditorium has 30 rows of seats. So our first question is asking, how many seats are in the eighth row? So let's start by writing out our sequence. So our first row has 20, our second row has 24, our third row has 28, and this continues on for 30 more rows. Now let's first check to make sure this is an arithmetic sequence. So to get to 20 to 24, I'll add four. To get from 24 to 28, I add four, and I would continue, continue to add four over and over. So because we're continuously adding four, that means our common difference is four. And then our first term is 20 because there are 20 seats in the first row. So now let's find our general formula. So the nth term would be n minus one multiplied by four plus that original 20. Now we're asked to find out how many are in the eighth row. So we're looking for the eighth term. So we'll have eight minus one times four plus 20. And when you put all of that into your calculator, you will get 48 seats. Now B asks us, how many seats are there in the theater? So to figure that out, we would start by taking how many are in the first row, adding the second row, adding the third row, and we would continue to add all 30 terms in our sequence to figure out how many seats there are in the theater in total. So this brings us to our next lesson of looking at series. And what a series is, is it's the sum of the terms in a sequence. And how we write that is Sn is equal to term one plus term two plus term three and so on and so forth until we add up all of the terms of our sequence. For this lesson, we're specifically going to be looking at arithmetic series. And these are the sum of arithmetic sequences. So let's start with a few examples. So here, we're going to look at what is the sum of the arithmetic sequence one, three, five, seven. So if I write S1, that means the sum of just the first term, which in this case is just one. If I write S2, that's the sum of the first two terms, so one and three. And when I add those together, I get four. For S3, it's the sum of the first three terms. So one plus three plus five is going to give me nine. And for S4, we would have our first term plus our second term plus our third term plus our fourth term, which is 16. So our next question is, can we come up with an equation to represent this? And the answer is, Yes. So I will give you the equation for how we find a series. So in general, our arithmetic series can be represented by S of n. So that would be the sum of n terms is equal to n, which is our term number, 2 times a, Again, a is still our first term, that hasn't changed, plus n minus one multiplied by d, which is our common difference again, that variable hasn't changed, all over two. We also have another form to write this in, which is sn is equal to n, which again is our term number, multiplied by our first term plus our last term, all over two. So those are the two formulas that we really need to know when we're looking at arithmetic series. Now, 
let's use these formulas to solve some problems. So for example one, we want to find the sum of the first 40 terms of the following arithmetic sequence. So one important thing to note here is that it's told us that it's arithmetic in the question, so now we can use this formula. So the important thing to look at is because we don't have the nth term, that means that we're going to have to use the first formula. So the formula we're going to use is Sn equals n multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 times d all over 2. And in this case, we're looking for the sum of the first 40 terms. So our n value is 40. So we'll have 40 multiplied by. Our a is our first term, which in this case is 30. And now to find our common difference. So I look, how do I get from 30 to 27? I'm going to minus 3. And 27 to 24, I'm going to minus 3. So our d value is just minus 3. And all of that is over 2. And then I'm just going to put that whole thing into my calculator. And I'll get that the sum of all of my first 40 terms is negative 1,140. So that would be my final answer. Now let's try another example that's a little bit different. So example two, we're going to find the sum of the arithmetic series. So again, it tells us that's arithmetic, so we don't need to prove that right away. Now, the first thing that we need to do is when I'm finding the sum of the whole series, I need to know how many terms there are. I need to figure out what my n value is, or the term number of this last number here, in order to know how many terms I'm going to be adding up. So the first thing I need to do is find how many terms there are or what term this is. So first thing we're going to do is we'll make our general formula. So we'll have n minus 1, our difference to get from negative 7 to negative 11. We'll subtract 4. Then we subtract 4 again. So our difference is negative 4. And then our first term is negative 7. So instead of writing plus negative 7, I can also just write negative 7, but that's where that comes from. Now I need to figure out what term number negative 167 is. So I'm just going to sub that in, and I'm going to solve for n. So I'm going to isolate n so that 7 needs to move over. So negative 160 equals n minus 1 times negative 4. Now to continue to isolate n, I have to divide out that negative 4. So we'll have 40 equals n minus 1. And again, isolating n, so let's move over to that 1. So we'll have 41 equals n. So that means there are 41 terms total. So now we are going to use the same formula, or in this case, we actually have our last term, so let's use the other formula. So step two, we'll use our other formula, which is n t1 plus tn all over 2. It doesn't matter which formula you use, but I might as well show you how to use this one too. So we have 41 terms. So we have 41. Our first term is negative 7. And that should have said an n here, so minus 167 all over 2. So that gives us that our sum is negative 3,567.
Okay, let's try another example. So example three, the sum of the first 24 terms in an arithmetic series is 3,588, and we need to determine the value of the 10th term if the first term is 46. So let's start by writing out what information we're given. So we're given that the sum of the first 24 terms is 3,588. We're also given that our first term is 46. And we're looking for our 10th term. So to start, let's find the value of the 24th term. We know that they all sum up to 3,588, but we actually need the value of the 24th term. So we know that our sum is equal to n. And we know that the sum is our 24th term. And our first term is 46, and we're looking for that 24th term. So let's isolate T24. So we'll multiply by 2 to start. So we'll have 7176 equals 24 times 46 plus T24. Now to continue to isolate T24, we'll divide by 24. So we will have 299 equals 46 plus T24. And now we need to move over the 46, which gives us 253 equals T24. So our 24th term is 253. So now the second thing we have to do is find our general equation. So I'm trying to fill in our general equation here. So we know that our 24th term is 253. So let's use that. We don't know D, so we'll continue to solve for that, but we do have our first term, which is 46. So now we can go through and isolate D in order to have our full general equation. There we go, and then we can just divide by 23, which gives us that nine equals D. So our general equation is Tn, was n minus 1 times 9 plus 46. And the last thing we had to do was to find the value of our 10th term. So our 10th term is equal to 10 minus 1 times 9 plus 46. And when you put that whole thing into your calculator, you will get 127. So that is our final solution. All right, one more quick example. So our last example says, in an amphitheater, seats are arranged in 50 semicircular rows facing a domed stage. The first row contains 23 seats, and each row contains four more seats than the previous row. How many seats are in the amphitheater? So we are given our first row is 23. So that's our A value. Next, we're given that each row increases by four seats. So that will be four. And then we know that there are 50 rows in total. So we know that there are 50 terms. So now we can find the sum of all of the terms of our sequence, or we can find the value of our series. So we'll have n multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1, d, all over 2. So we're looking for the sum of all 50 rows. So we'll sub in 50 for n. All over 2. 
And then we're just going to put that whole thing into the calculator and we'll get 6,050. So you can say, therefore, there are 6,050 seats in total. And that is our final solution.